Howdy, howdy, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Creation Corner here on the Creative Plots of the Emerald Isle. As you guys know, I am Husky Tails, your favorite green fluff ball, spinning around all my puppy pals right now. As you guys know, we are here to celebrate and show off your amazing creations. And what was this week's themes, guys? Well, it was none other than monsters! And monsters are awesome, because you guys made some amazing ones. So without further ado, guys, we're going to hop into our little hallway over here. See if I can, see if I can manage it in third person. Uh, there we go. We're gonna hop into our hallway here guys start showing off your creations and then reveal next week's theme So without further ado, we're gonna hop into here as I said As Choppa said, <laughs> Choppa had it right the first time. We are here to show off This one is by Angel042 He made, I think it's Poshi. It looks like a purple monster with like a little eyeball and green little claws everywhere And I love the horns. The horns are like super awesome. It's almost like the shape of a heart but I love it. It's like a giant fluff ball, and it looks like a cute monster. It looks kind of friendly, kind of nice. It's like one you want to, you wouldn't be scared of, but you want to be friends with. I definitely loved it. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Next up, we have over here. All right over here, guys. We have we have Awesome Craft Zero Zero Five, who made Marshy the Marshmallow Monster. Again, I love the colors, green and purple. It looks super adorable and it has like little teeth right there and it has like a little winky face now I, I i don't know if it's like can you eat the marshmallow monster or does the marshmallow eat you because that's kind of scary but it's kind of cute so i like it though it's definitely different um i do like the like and i like the little horns and little tail definitely creative thank you so much for that all right guys next up we have we'll go over to this side right here we have we have eecj who made Violet looks like a zombie with like little horns on it. Has like a little smiley face. But I don't think it's kind of zombie actually. It's more like a. It looks more like like little has horns on it. And I, I don't know. I can't remember the word I was gonna call it. But it's super cute. It looks like another friendly monster. I do love the little drawing you did. And I definitely like that you keep submitting stuff. So thank you so much for that. All right, guys. Up next, we have over on this side. We have. We have Fox Lover who. This is, you see, we have Cloud Monsters. We have Billy Bob Joe, Buddy John John, and Bobby John John. And it looks like it gives you cloud candy, it gives you the power to flight. They're all magical clouds that bounce around. They also give out candy. So they're good creatures. They give out candy. That's good. Monsters are definitely good monsters. I mean, if a monster gave me candy, I would be pretty happy. They also look very huggable. So I definitely love it. Thank you so much. I love the hat. I love the idea. And it's definitely creative. Thank you so much, Fox Lover. All right, guys. Up next. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go right here now. We have, we have. I think it's Master. Uh, oh, right there. See, at G M E M S T R, who made a giant me. Uh, I love it because it's a giant me. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now. They also did the speed art, so if you guys want to check that out too. Um, I believe I tweeted it. I don't know if I did. I'll have to see. But it's definitely cool. It's giant. Like I like the background. I like me. I mean, it's like me, and it's just I don't know. I like it. It's a giant me. And technically, being a dog, I, I'm kind of a monster. I, I'm scary, right, guys? Right? Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, dude. All right, guys. Let's see. Next up, we have over here. We'll go to Emerald Wolf. We're gonna come right here. Next up we have Ice Princess 391 who made Sylph the Sleepy Monster. And it looks like it's definitely a sleepy monster. That's like another fuzzy one. I love the fluffy monsters because they're also so cute. And this one's sleeping all the time, so I think you'd be okay petting it. It looks like a very pettable one. Like it's one of those little ones you just want to hold and be like, oh you're adorable, because it looks adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Alright guys, next up we have over here by Sarah the Elf, we have we have Lucky512 who made this awesome monster right here. Name I think is Bonzo or I think yeah, Bonzo. It has like these super cool like purple wings. I think of like feathers almost or like leaves. It has like this cool like horns and like stripes all over and teeth. It's it's definitely a scary monster. It's very grr. But I like it because it's different. And it has like all these cool colors. It has like the little designs on it. And it's creative. Definitely worth it. Definitely amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go to... Let's go to Lily. We're going to go to the one that Lily has. And this one's by... This is by Misty66667. And this is actually a dragon mask she made. Now, it was actually originally supposed to be for the New Year's theme, but she didn't have her phone. But, because dragons are technically a monster, heck yes, I will accept it. It is amazing. And the fact that it's a mask is also amazing. 
It's colorful, it's simple, but it also has, it looks very like unique. I like the eyes too, like they're golden, like they're like they're staring at you. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next we have. Let's go over here. We're gonna go to the E. This one right here, and it's by Princess Sophie, who made an infected turtle. As you can see, it has like the little legs right there. Its face is all like hazard bio sign, and it has a little shell on top. It's simple, but it's cool, and it makes me think of like a zombie turtle, like a zombie that's like going all slow motion, trying to come in at you. It wouldn't be scary, but you definitely know it's a zombie. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Princess Sophie. All right, guys. Up next, we're gonna hop on over to this one. And this one, guys, is by, this is by Miss Scented Dreamer, who made this cool half robot, half nature plant. Looks like a, looks like a giant, like, person. Let's see, has, let's see, okay, try to see, figure this out, guys. It looks like you can see the arms there. You guys can see the feet. You guys can see the face. It, it's, it's amazing. I do like the creativity. Half robot, half monster. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to, like, see if there's any, like, I, I'm like, because I see the hands, and I see the feet, and I see the face. I'm just, like... I love it because it's so unique and different that I'm like, I'm trying to like, like I feel like there should be like a hide and seek where like people are hiding on this and like take a picture to like try to find them. But it's definitely cool. I loved it so much, Scented. Thank you so much for submitting it. All right, guys. Up next, we have over here by Lenny. We have, we have an entry by Tara Sugar Pink who made Lily, the plant monster and flower monster. Look at the little flowers growing all over her face. It's just a big smiley face like, sup? Uh, I loved it because all the colors, again, it's like, the colors are all very blended. Like, they go in a cycle, and I like it. It's very different, very nice. Thank you so much for it. All right, guys, up next we have, oh, we have this one right here, it looks like. And it is by, it's by Trip Bueller, I think I said. Because there's a monster under my bed, and it is not lame. Simple things are amazing things. And the fact there's a creeper under your bed, I would be scared to go to sleep at night, personally. And like I said, creepers are monsters. They are just a very different kind of monster because they blow things up and ruin our fun. But I like the idea. Uh, I think it was definitely creative. And don't think it's lame because no entry is ever lame in my book. Thank you so much for that, by the way. All right, guys. Up next. Oh, uh, hi, hi, guys. <laughs> up next, guys, we have Xbox 20 Gaming Who Made. This amazing- look at all the monsters in the background right there, in front of a hero brine statue. And they even changed their skin to be a skeleton flame dude. You guys can see like all those like tons of zombies head, endermen, like there's like one of each creature in that little glass case behind him. Definitely monster worthy and the classic Minecraft monsters nonetheless. Nonetheless, thank you so much for that. Alright guys, I believe we have two more entries or so left. So, we're gonna come over to our special walls. And then, do I have more on these side? I don't know, okay. So, the next one, guys, is by... Is by Crazy Gaming. You guys can see it's a giant zombie. It looks like there's like a platform. I wonder how he got the giant zombie, though. That's definitely interesting. I can't read the sign. If you guys can, let me know what it says. You guys can also see there's zombies and skeletons and a creeper and cows and sheeps and everything else in the background. There's a spider, too. Very mysterious. Very monstrous. Thank you so much for it. All right, guys, and finally, over here, we have the final entry, which is Yellow Hornet 911 who made the evil cotton candy, I think it is. Hopefully I said that right. And it has like three, has like one, two, three, four arms of like blue and pink. It has like an evil face and it's an evil cotton candy monster. Now, I don't think it's one of those things you'd want to eat though. I mean, I'm scared if you hug it, you'd get all like tangled in its cotton candy stickiness and be stuck forever. <laughs> but it's definitely creative and definitely cool. Thank you so much for that Yellow Hornet. All right, guys, that was our Monster Madness theme. Lots of creative monsters, and you guys all did so, so well. I'm so proud of all you guys. And every time I see your guys' artwork, it makes me so happy. And so, guys, I know you're all wondering, Husky, what's next week's theme? Well, that's quiet, guys. Next week's theme is in honor of a celebrational holiday involving green. That is right, guys. Next week's theme is St. Patrick's Day. So, what's that mean? That means the color green. Clovers and four leaf clovers, leprechauns and pots of gold and rainbows because that's what St. Patrick's Day is all about. Uh, mostly green though. I, I, I'm kind of fond of green. If you guys want to do green, that's fine. Especially green huskies. Green huskies are awesome, am I right? <laughs> so guys, next week's theme is St. Patrick's Day, which if I have timed correctly, will be released in the video right around St. Patrick's Times Day. So, get out those green markers, go find some four leaf clovers in the real world, 
or go see a rainbow and a pot of gold and find a leprechaun. Either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys watching, and remember, if you guys liked it, be sure to like, share, and comment down below here somewhere. And as always, guys, remember, you are amazing. Make sure to have an awesome day. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> Bye! Fly away! <laughs> Hey guys, I actually missed two entries by our very own kitty, 5236815, and Liddy the Panda. I actually got them after I finished recording, but I wanted to include them because I love showing off your guys' creations. Now as you guys can see, the first one is Kitty fighting a mutant kitty, and as always, a mutant versus anyone is always going to be an epic fight, and I love the little doodle you did. And after her, guys, is Linny's drawing of the birthday cake monster panda, who also says birthday panda. Now why? Because I believe it is Linny's birthday. So, happy birthday, Linny, from me and all the other puppy pals. Who can leave a comment down below to say happy birthday? And as always, guys, make sure you, Mr. Linny the panda, like everyone else, have an amazing and awesome day. And as always, make sure to have a happy birthday. <laughs>